God has boldly declared, a serious punishment is coming to some individuals. But the question is, are you one of those? Stick around until the very end and you will yourself know that who are liable to get this punishment. Every action we take carries consequences. It is crucial to ensure our actions are righteous because soon there will be a great judgment upon all nations worldwide. However, before the glorious return of Jesus Christ, God is administering punishment to those who are unrighteous. This isn't me to scare you, but to urge you to reflect on your deeds and align them with righteousness. The punishment spoken of isn't arbitrary. It is the result of actions that oppose God's will and harm others. It is a call to examine our hurts and deeds, to repent and seek forgiveness if needed. The Bible teaches us about the consequences of our actions. In Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, it says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man rapes what he sows. This means that what we sow through our actions, we will reap the consequences, whether good or bad. Now listen to what God has spoken this time. He said, Dear children, it is I, your creator, who speaks to you now. I see your struggles, the challenges you face each day. I understand the pain caused by your adversaries and how they try to harm you and lead you away from me. But even in your darkest moments, I am here. I promised in my word that I will never abandon you. I will not leave you to suffer at the hands of your enemies. How could I, as your loving father, ignore your troubles? I am not a god of evil. I do not allow darkness to control you or this world. Even if you cannot see the way out of your problems, do you not trust that I will guide you? Do you not believe that I am capable of delivering you from harm? My dear children, how many times must I prove my love and faithfulness to you? Yet, Despite all I have done for you, doubts still linger in your heart. Some question my loyalty and doubt my power. When will you stand firm in your faith and trust me completely? I understand that as humans, you are easily swayed by the challenges of this world. Your physical senses can overwhelm you, leading you astray. But know this, I am always here for you. I have given you my word, performed many miracles, and brought breakthroughs into your lives. Still, some of you doubt me. When will you realize that nothing is greater than me. I urge you to trust me wholeheartedly, to have faith that I will always be there for you. Do not let doubt cloud your judgment. Instead, focus on my promises and believe that 
I am capable of fulfilling them. There are individuals who have strayed from the path of righteousness and a serious punishment awaits them. But fear not, for I am a just and merciful God. While it is true that there will be consequences for those who have chosen to walk in darkness, I offer a way out for those who turn to me in repentance. My love for you is boundless, and I long for all my children to find their way back to me. My dear children, if they keep refusing to come back to me, the devil will lead them to terrible places. He is not interested in their well-being. He just wants to destroy them. He will use every trick he has to trap and mislead those who turn away from me. His path only leads to sadness, suffering and being away from me forever. Remember, I am your loving father and I will never abandon you. Trust in me and I will guide you through life's challenges. You are not alone. I am always by your side, ready to help you overcome any obstacle. So dear children, place your trust in me and I will lead you to victory. Believe in my power and I will deliver you from harm. You are my beloved children and I will always protect you. Stop focusing on the enemy. He is nothing. Anyone he uses is nothing compared to me. Governments are going to fall. Chaos will erupt in many places. It will look like war is gaining around and corruption is winning. But I keep telling you time and time again. And this time, when things intensify and they look darker instead of brighter, your enemy is trying to weaken you. Do you know that? Do you hear what I am saying to you? At this moment, they want to make you weak and ruin you. But my plan is stronger than theirs. When they try to make you weak, I will make you stronger. When they try to trick you, I will give you my truth. And that truth will set you free from all of their traps. I am using people all over my world. I have anointed and appointed them for this hour, but they are nothing without my power. So, gain your powers through me and demonstrate your faith and trust in me, for this is how you will find peace and strength in the midst of life storms. Never forget that. I love you always, now and forever. Bring people back to me and I will forgive their sins, said the Lord. Now type it and say, God is the Supremo and share this message with every single person you know. Let us take a part in bringing glory to the Lord and know that, dear child of God, the punishment God speaks of isn't just about retribution. It's about correction and restoration. It's about God's love for us, wanting us to live in alignment with His will and experience His abundant life. We may wonder why God allows suffering and punishment. 
The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 5 verse 8 which says but God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners Christ died for us God's ultimate act of love was sending his son Jesus Christ to die for our sins offering us forgiveness and salvation However, God calls us to live a holy life and a righteous one. In 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15 to 16 says, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. This underscores the importance of living in accordance with God's will and His standards. So how do we know if we are among those facing punishment? It's not about living in constant fear, but about examining our lives in the light of God's truth. Are we living according to His commandments? Are we treating others with love and compassion? Are we seeking His guidance and following His leading? If we find areas where we have fallen short, there is hope. God is merciful and offers forgiveness to all who sincerely repent. In 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, it says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So confess of your sins with the help of this prayer, which I am about to pray right now. And let us praise God together. See this. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, acknowledging our weaknesses and shortcomings today. We recognize that we have strayed from your path and have fallen short of your glory. Forgive us, Lord, for the times when we have ignored your guidance and followed our own desires. Wash away our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and renew a steadfast spirit within us. Lord, we thank you for your unwavering love and mercy. Even when we go astray, you never abandon us, Lord. You are always there, ready to welcome us back with open arms. Help us to turn away from our sinful ways and to walk in your light. Strengthen us, O Lord, to resist the temptations of the evil one and to cling to your truth. We confess, Lord, that we are weak and in need of your strength. When the enemy tries to weaken us, empower us with your spirit. Fill us with your strength and courage so that we may stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. Help us to put on the full armor of God, that we may be able to withstand the attacks of the evil one. Lord, when the enemy seeks to deceive us, illuminate our minds with your truth. Open our eyes to see through the lies and deceptions of the enemy. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Guide us, O Lord, in your truth and lead us on the path of righteousness. We praise you, Lord, for your faithfulness and steadfast love. You are a rock and a fortress, a refuge and a strength. You are alone worthy of all praise and adoration. Help us to lift up your name high and to exalt you in all that we do. As we come together in prayer today, may your Holy Spirit move among us uniting our hearts in love and fellowship. May your presence fill this place and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.